Hello, and welcome to this presentation and demonstration of Vaultize, the enterprise platform that enables secure sharing and mobility with your company's data. My name is Gary Cook, and I am the Chief Solutions Architect for Vaultize in North America. And for the next few minutes, I'll be talking to you about Vaultize. Vaultize, what it is. It's an enterprise platform for enabling secure sharing, anywhere access, and mobile collaboration of your company's data with end-to-end -end data security and flexible deployment options. Enterprise platform means there's a variety of solutions, file sharing and sync, manage data mobility, bring your own device, secure anywhere access, data loss protection, and others. End-to-end -end data security means that VPN is no longer required to access company data from external sources. And flexible deployment options such as an appliance, on-premise private cloud, or public cloud, all of which are highly scalable. How Voltize works in a corporate network. So in your corporate network, you probably have Windows machines along with Macs and possibly Linux machines sitting on desktops and laptops. Those machines are able to access file share data off of your NAS, SharePoint, or even Google Apps. You have mobile devices such as Androids, iOS devices, Apple, and even roaming laptops that today probably can only get to, to email data, and you'd like to be able to provide your end users with ability to get to other corporate data. In the past, this has required VPN across your firewall. Well now, Vaultize can provide that same secure access to your data without needing the VPN. So Vaultize, as I mentioned, can be from a public cloud, a private cloud, or an appliance. We provide file sharing and sync, meaning you can share data amongst groups of individuals. You can share data using links with external individuals, not necessarily employees. There's auto expiration of those links and passwords to control security. Mobile content management, anywhere access, including the ability for your individuals to be able to access file server and NAS data from their mobile devices outside of the company network. Access control based on either geography, IP, or time can be controlled in addition to being able to let people get to certain files or folder patterns. Bring your own devices now can be made more secure with the Vaultize platform, including data loss protection, which is backup, encryption, and remote wiping of devices if necessary, all done through a centralized administration console that provides reporting, monitoring, and alerts. How it works is basically you have agent based sitting on those devices um, that can provide versioning, encryption, and deduplication among those Windows, Mac, and Linux clients. You can then provide that data either through just the intranet or also out to the internet to those mobile devices, making those secure and being able to access the data potentially 24 hours a day, 7 days a week without the need for VPN because only Vaultize provides encryption at the source and decryption at the receiving device, making sure that only encrypted chunks of data travel over the wire and stay encrypted on the Vaultize cloud, creating an end-to-end -end secure tunnel just like VPN. And now for that demonstration I was talking about. First of all, you're looking at my desktop, and what I'm going to do is use some software that allows me to put my iPad up on my display, log into Vaultize, I'm going to use my PIN code, and now you can see, here's all the data that's contained in the container on my iPad. So you can see up in the left-hand column, you see recent data. I have all files and folders shared by me. So those are files that I've shared with someone else. Shared with me, obviously files that have been shared with me. My favorites, so those are items that I've deemed that I want to keep close so that I can retrieve them whether I'm connected to the Internet or not. And finally, trash. So anything that I put into the trash folder, I can keep and take a look at. What we're going to do is come back here to Recent. And I'm going to take a look at the Vaultize Solution Brief. So you can see this PDF. I can scroll through it, read it, just like I would anything else. I'm going to go here to a PowerPoint document. This is a PowerPoint document about Vaultize. But I'm going to click on the Edit button. And now I'm going to be inside the container using the built-in editor so that if I want to, I can make changes to certain slides, make adjustments, be able to do everything just as if I was sitting at my desktop. 
So we're going to end that piece. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you from an end user point of view on my laptop. If I come out, do a right mouse click here on the Voltize icon, look at my vault, I'm going to see the same data that I saw on my iPad or my Android device. Here I'm going to look at being able to see various files and folders. Once again, I'm in the recent section. If I want to, I can come out here and see shared data, so shared by me, shared with me in this column over here. The sync to vault is if I want to take some data and sync it so that I can have it protected uh, with the data protection backup part of the product. Once again, I can also share or I can upload data. All files and folders, there's where I can see all the different folders that I have and anything that I own and have, have brought up to the Voltai server. And then there's my trash folder. Now we'll go into the administration console. And you'll see that when I first come in as an admin, I see the number of users or licenses that have been purchased, the number of devices that have been allocated to this particular company. I'm the administrator of this company. Here's the quota, so the amount of storage space that we've been allocated. Once again, you can see the number of devices and how many of them are active or inactive. If I come here and take a look at users, I can see that I have a couple of users. There's me. There's the amount of data that I have currently up on the server and the amount that I have for my quota, the groups that I belong to, and the different policies that have been applied to me. If I click on my name, now we're going to see that I have, there's my Voltize Gary, that's the laptop that has accessed the data, and also you can see my Android phone that's accessed the data. If I come over here and look at some of the various policies, we'll take a look at the general policy. With the general policy, this dictates what kind of information is going to be set up for the individual user. So for this particular thing, we've got a default of 2 gigabytes for each user. We've said that they're going to get the Voltize um, upgrades automatically. To show that icon in the system tray or on any of their user devices, so there's the Voltize icon. And we can cache data on user devices for quick downloads. So the ability for me to be able to access the data when I'm not connected to the internet um, is when you would want to cache that data, and that was when I showed you the favorites. Next, I'll come out and show you a couple of more policies. The sharing policy. So with the sharing policy, here now, I didn't mention it before, but you can utilize Active Directory so that you can bring in Active Directory groups so that you can apply policies to groups and or individuals if you like. The geofencing piece here says we're going to include any location. We've said that anybody can access data from all countries. This is where you can do the geofencing or the IP fencing, saying I only want to allow certain IP addresses or that I want to block certain IP addresses. Here, when you define the time-based access, this is when someone can access the data uh, through either the container on the app on the individual devices or through the, their workstation. Here it says days of the week. I can select 24 by 7 access or I can pick specific hours of the day and night that I want to be appropriate for making it when someone can get to the data. And finally on the third page, I had mentioned before that you could send a link to an external customer, not necessarily an employee, to be able to provide them access to the Voltize data if you wanted them to see a document. Well, here's where the administrator can say how long that link will be before it expires. So in this case, it's set up to 30 days. They could do three downloads and have five unique accesses. You also can say to notify the share participants by email. So when you go to share something with someone, they'll receive an email saying, Hi, Gary Cook has shared a document with you and give you the link to be able to click on it to be able to access that data. Going through the mobility. So I'll show you just a couple more policies here. With the mobility policy, this is what's appropriate and what can happen from that end user device. So the iOS or the, or the Android or the, or the iOS phone, the Apple phone, iPad, whatever. You can say you want to allow them to use it to gain access to the data using the mobile app, whether they can upload data from their camera or not. The containerization piece, whether you want to allow them to use third-party applications to edit the data. I showed you the built-in editor, but if you wanted someone could use on their iPad, say iWorks or Hop2 or, or Microsoft now being able to do uh, PowerPoint and Word and Excel on the iPad. Or you can keep them within the container and they can use the built-in editor. So here you see, allow to use the built-in editor. If you want them to use Bluetooth, AirPlay, um, whether you want to allow them to copy and paste, print files, or email files, or even do screenshots. And the last piece I'm going to show you for a policy is anywhere access. 
This is where we talked about this is where someone could access data from a file share server that you have contained inside your network where the Vaultai server would appear to be a pass-through server or acting like VPN. So here I haven't set one up, but it says you can select data from desktop, laptop, or right down here being able to utilize the file server. And then you can select what kind of files they may or may not be able to access. Office files, Outlook, email, picture and image files, audio, video files, desktop folders. You can say that to include. If you have some includes, then you've got an exclude. So in this case, I chose office files and exclude everything else. So that was just a quick tour of the Vaultize platform, both from an end user point of view, a device point of view, and also the administration console. I thank you very much for your time. So if you have any questions, please send an email, or if you'd like to do a trial period with Vaultize, send an email to sales at Vaultize.com. Otherwise, if you have any additional questions or information you'd like to learn about Vaultize, please visit our website at www.vaultize.com.